Hey, it's Rachel from All About Planners. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to plot an itinerary using Google My Maps. It's a free online tool. So if you follow my blog, you might remember I posted a tutorial a while back on how I use the Visitor City tool. I still use that tool, but as the name suggests, it's really only for cities. So it's not ideal for road trips. I also find it can be a little clunky and slow to load if I'm adding lots of photo stops. So for that reason, for those two things, I've switched to Google My Maps. So I already did one for my Tasmania road trip, it really helped visually see where things were. Um, you can look at the distances between places, plus I like to take a screenshot of it and then put it in the front page of my photo books at the end after I come back from the trip. It's a good idea to see where you went and also if someone else is looking at your photo book and they go, oh where's this, they can just look at the map. So I've got a Google account, I've gone to Google My Maps, I'm logged in and then I just need to hit create a new map. So you can add not only um, driving routes to create a road trip, you can add points of interest like photo stops like I mentioned before, but also restaurants, your hotel, you can color code things. Um, yeah, so lots of things that you can do with it. You can go anywhere in the world. Um, I'm going to zoom in and do New Zealand because I've not done my little map yet for that and I'm working on the photo book at the moment. Plus it's pretty small so it should be easy to see um, for this uh, video. So I like to add my points of where I went with the marker tool, so just left click and then drop it wherever you like. Started in Christchurch, so I'm gonna call it Christchurch instead of point one, because point one doesn't really tell me anything. You can call it whatever you want. You might put day one um, up to you and then hit save. And then it will show over here. Now, if you wanna customize it, I'll just zoom in a bit. Um, you can click this little paint bucket tool here and then you can pick whatever color you like and also the little icons that I was talking about earlier. So say this was a photo stop, you can change it to the camera. If it was your accommodation, you got a bed. Um, there's the little restaurant, uh, the one I use for restaurants and food places, parking, you get the idea. You can also color code, so all your restaurants might have a little icon in green and your hotel might be in orange, you get the idea. Um, there's also more icons to choose from. So I've got my first um, destination. You don't have to be terribly accurate with it unless you are zooming right in and then going to screenshot this which is what I tend to do for a walking route but this one's going to be a driving route so I don't need to be terribly accurate where I drop it just close enough is good enough because I'm just going to do like a, a big shot like this you're not going to see the detail okay so I've got my first point and it's um, driving so I'm actually just going to have a little marker now for my second point, same deal, do the same thing again. Second point was fairly, this wants to load. And then hit save and you can see they're all getting plotted as you go. Um, one annoying thing that I've found, I'm um, not sure how, if there's a quicker way, um, you do have to change the colors individually. I'm sure there is a shortcut, have not found it yet. If you know of it, please comment below. Okay, so I've got my points plotted. Now I can add my driving route as well. So click this button here. So we've got driving route. You can also do a biking or a walking route. So I use the walking route for photo stops, obviously driving. And if you don't want um, anything like that, just something simple, just do a line. Okay, so this part can be a little annoying. Um, the tool can be a little clunky when it comes to plotting these things. So just gotta be patient with it. So I'm going to left click once for A, which was my starting point, and then double left click for fairly, which was my end point. Yay, it worked this time. So it can be a little touchy. Sometimes it'll offshoot and pick up a road somewhere else or it won't drop it where I want it to. So you just gotta be careful and a little bit patient with it. So it's got the blue line um, on the quickest route. If you took a longer route, you can left click and drag the map out after you see that little dot and then see how I dragged it. So up to you um, how you wanna plot it. So. Next, we can add another destination. So C, you can left click and then it will put it there for you. Or you can just type it in as well. And then it will plot it for me. So um, that's pretty much it for driving distances. You can continue for however many stops that you've got. And again, with the little photo points or your destination markers, don't forget you can change those little icons if you want to. And that is about it. As for printing, there is um, a print function. However, I have found that it is a bit um, too, too zoomed out. So it's okay for these road trip ones, but when I zoom in, I've got a whole bunch of photo walking stops. It's not really um, ideal. So for that, I will just zoom right in and then use the snipping tool on my computer and then save it as an image. Now with that, I tend to put it in a Word document. 
So up the top of it, I will have my itinerary and then down below, I'll have the little map with the photo stops and I can just pull it out, uh, like tear it out, I get it bound, tear it out of my little itinerary book that I've made and then take it with me during the day and then just throw it out at the end of the day. I don't need it anymore and then I'm not carrying around lots of pages um, with bulky stuff that I don't need. I also have that Visitor City um, app on my phone as well. So then if my um, phone dies, I've got a paper copy. If something happens to the paper copy or it gets wet or it's raining, whatever, then I've got a digital copy. You get the idea. I just like to be super prepared. Also is handy for, again, putting in photo books and then um, I tend to post my itineraries on my blog as well and that can be helpful for readers because I find it's helpful when other um, bloggers put the little photo stop map on. So anyway, a couple of uses. Hope you found this video helpful. I will include that link below to the one that I did on how I use the Visitor City tool as well if you're interested.